okay let's go over wrap up of the trigger here in the green we have the inspiration cycle and then here the yellow one expiration cycle i always i mean that the yellow is longer than the inspiration because always kind of expiration normally is longer than inspiration one thing i want you to pay attention that the ventilator will listen to the triggers from the patient only during expiration the ventilator only responsive to trigger in during in expiration right here in the inspiration the ventilator is unresponsive to trigger once receive the first 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 trigger and initiate the breath the ventilator become unresponsive until it finish the breath and goes into expiration again that's very important so if the patient initiated a breath and the ventilator got that signal and start delivering the breath but has not finished if the patient initiate another breath let's say initiate a breath here and the ventilator delivering the breath and the patient initiated another breath here this will be ignored by the ventilator another breath here will be ignored only if it comes here then that will be picked up again by the ventilator and then we go to square one so that's the first thing the second thing the ventilator trigger also we can call it time trigger because basically it's decided by time remember the six second uh, example last video so this is time so this is time trigger so the ventilator will wait for six seconds if no breath will go ahead and deliver a breath and it will reset if there is any patient triggered breath he will go back to zero so that's the another name for ventilator trigger time trigger actual respiratory rate that means the respiratory that the patient is having right now and it can be different from the respiratory rate that sit on the ventilator settings if you look at the ventilator settings there is a respiratory rate so that's the number the minimum number of the breaths that patient will receive and this is the actual respiratory rate okay let's go quickly so let's say here it's 10 and here let's say the patient breathing initiating five breaths only so the ventilator will help with the five breaths plus will give five more to get to 10 so it will be five assist and five control let's say the patient is initiating 10 breaths the ventilator then will deliver zero breath because we want to get to 10 so basically the patient has 10 assessed breaths and zero control breaths let's say the patient having 15 breaths which means initiating 15 breaths so that means the ventilator of course giving zero and the patient getting a 15 assisted breaths so all breaths assisted there is no control breaths and as i said this is the minimum number so the patient is having the minimum which is 10 plus 5 because initiating the breath one important thing remember the assisted breath is every single breath triggered by the patient so you cannot say oh only 10 assisted and the rest whatever the patient can do no all them are assisted breaths triggered by the patient so here the patient having more than the minimum and that's okay with the ventilator well, the last thing we talked about last video is that there is no point if somebody breathing at 15 already and the ventilator 10 is to go and change the setting of the ventilator to 12 it's useless or 13 it's only beneficial if you go more than 15 that way the patient will have 15 assist breath and then let's say here 17 and we'll have two control breaths so that's the wrap up of the trigger